Welcome to the Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Thank you for joining us today. The program will begin shortly. When I grow up, I want to be a journalist. When I graduate, I will be a journalist. I am a journalist, and I am Sunnyside. Congratulations, class of 2020 graduates. Please remain seated and enjoy the show. class of 2020 family and friends and welcome to Desert Views virtual graduation ceremony. This isn't what we expected when the school year started but we could not let the school year end without taking the time to congratulate you on all of your hard work and your accomplishments and those accomplishments are phenomenal. This class has raked up over six million dollars in scholarships and grants for students who will be attending Pima College, the University of Arizona, NAU, ASU, and Stanford University in California. Desert Review Class of 2020, you rock. So tonight you will hear from your salutatorium, Celeste Mesa, who has the second highest GPA of 4.5. Then you will hear from your two co-valedictorians, Isabella Espinosa and Valeria Vega Yanez, who tied with a GPA of 4.6. Then you will hear from your principal, Mrs. Rosas, and the superintendent of Sunnyside School District, Mr. Steve Holmes. Following that will be the senior class slideshow and the turning of the tassels led by the senior class president, Devin Rios. Since I didn't get here until January, I didn't get to know you very well, but what I heard from your counselors and teachers is that you are a hardworking, committed, and dedicated group of students. When you think back on your senior year, you'll remember that it was interrupted by distance learning, but you will also remember that you persevered and overcame that challenge, and I hope that that will also let you know that when you come upon challenges in the future, you'll be able to persevere and overcome them also. Congratulations and good luck. Before we get started, let's recognize our governing board members, Buck Kraut, Becky Quintero, Eva Carrillo-Dung, Sonsuelo Hernandez, and Robert Jaramillo. Hello, 
My name is Celeste Mesa, and I'm your class salutatorian. I thank God for the opportunity to be able to speak to you all today. Today, a moment meant for joy is now one filled with sad apologies. Someday, we will hear our names echo throughout the stadium as we walk to the sound of thundering applause. And on that day, we will fall in love with being alive. For now though, we lie in wait for that moment. It will come, the day we count down the hours till we throw our caps with the sound of fireworks in the background as we cry running up to our families whose faces are lit with pride, taking pictures, capturing our bliss. Overwhelmed with emotions, it is then we come to realize the late nights we spent were not in vain. Every tear shed was worth the pain, even the times we went insane. We wouldn't change it for the world. We now realize its worth. We never truly understand the valuable moment until it's a memory. Now, as we gather virtually, although this is not what we expected, we will not forget. And for us, when the day does come, it will be bigger than the ones in the movies. We just have to survive this first. We will continue just as we always have, while mourning the memories we didn't get to make. For athletes, their senior night. For musicians, their last concert. For actors, their final bow. For all, our last pep, our last day of school. At least we had our night under the stars, living young and wild and free. But now, there is more waiting for us. The future is here. We begin to make our lives a story worth telling by creating, by creating a life we love by striving for success, by building who we want to be in the world. There's nothing to hold us back. Coming out of this tragic situation, we transcend from our old selves, and now we are new, eagerly awaiting our future. But before we depart, we must address the teachers that guided us, the tribulations that shaped us, the families who supported us, the friends who stuck by us, even the ones who have left us. We owe great thanks to you for being a part of our journey. Class of 2020, Welcome to the future. Thank you. Good evening, class of 2020. I hope this virtual ceremony finds you healthy and safe. I'm sure no one expected this day to come so soon or our senior year to end so chaotically. Nonetheless, we have all finished a major accomplishment and it is deserving of celebration no matter the state of the world. I've been thinking about what I might say in this speech since the moment I heard I was eligible. In the beginning of my freshman year, I thought I would write it on the competition of learning. I thought I knew everything. At the end of my freshman year, after my dad's big accident, I thought I might write it about perseverance, what it meant to see someone you loved be courageous in facing tragedy every day. Sophomore year, I thought I might inspire you all to try new things in your future, just, I had, just as I had tried something new by joining cheer. Junior year, I thought I might say something about how I fell in love with science. I thought I would tell everyone how I loved the challenge of AP Chem, though I spent most of my time complaining about it and hating on Mr. Betchurch. It is now senior year, and somehow I've decided to talk about none of that. Like many of you, I am not the me I was freshman year, or really the me I was yesterday, and somehow Mr. B has become my most trusted advisor. I've changed. Since all of you have been out of class for months, I've decided to share with you the biggest lesson I've learned from high school. This community we all share, it is worth so much more than it is ever given credit for. There is so much beauty here and that is because of all of us. We are the kids who grew up riding our bikes in the neighborhoods with our friends. We are the kids who were taught to respect our elders. We learn all the important things like friendship, courage, and fashion from our older siblings. I know I did. As we all grew, we became leaders. Some of you walked for your friend Thomas junior year others stood with your teachers in the Red for Ed movement. Everyone has experienced some kind of tragedy, but that has never stopped us. Think about the drafting kids who travel the U.S. for their new trade, the academic kids who have went further in competition than ever before, or the JROTC kids who have been commended on their flights. The best local dance team next gen was created by a couple of you, and the robotics club has become more prevalent than ever. More and more, you all inspire each other to do better be more and be a part of this community. There are so many accomplishments to come out of our clubs and individual students. I would have multiple ads play through this speech if I listed them all. Even then, many of you did things away from school. You held jobs or helped your parents at home and still you managed to get your diplomas. For me, I've always loved learning and the diplomas seem to just come with that. 
I spent a lot of high school feeling different than the scientists I aspired to be. I could tell you that there are few women in STEM, even less that are Mexican-American, and even less than that that come from Desert View High School. But it never mattered what the world threw at me because my community never stopped believing in me to do well. My teachers, all of whom I assume are watching this, I hope the nuisance of online school has not convinced you to reconsider your profession. I had good teachers, and I was blessed with some of the best ones at Challenger Middle School. Mr. Dara and Miss Igueta are the kinds of teachers who tell kids they can be anything they want to be, and they are right. My parents are hardworking, and they pass that to me. My mom worked every holiday I could remember at a local grocery store, so that she gave me and my sister every opportunity possible. We played learning games at home because my parents always wanted us to find learning fun. As a preschooler, I was also valedictorian because the teacher saw I had a love of talking and my mom always wanted me to shine. In that speech, I told everyone, I learned my colors, my ABCs, my one, two, threes, and my colors. That still holds true today. I have only learned the basics and I'm eager to continue. I have been blessed to have the drive of my immigrant grandparents the courage of my dad, the passion of my mom, and the curiosity of my nana Weta. I am the son of, I'm the sum of all the things I've learned from all the people I love, not only my family or my, or my teachers, but my peers who I grew alongside and was lucky enough to call friends. With that, there's a very special group of people I would like you all to know shape me into who I am. The DVHS Varsity Cheer Team became my home away from home almost three years ago. I have grown to know something, and that is being a cheerleader is a lot of work, but it is also a family. It gave me a place to be a leader, a friend, and a lot of the time, a normal boy crazy teenage girl. When I found out I was a finalist for the Flynn Scholarship, I was in cheer practice. I cannot express to you the squealing. That is my favorite memory of high school. There is nothing like having a group of people See you sweaty, makeup bliss, confused and cranky, support you completely. If you haven't already, I highly suggest all of you go out and find your own cheerleaders who are there for every small or big victory. There are thousands of dollars being awarded in scholarships this coming fall because of all the hard work and effort you have all put in. This community of ours should be so hopeful that it has leaders ready to be a part of it. We are engineers, poets, scholars, scientists, teachers and everything in between. Every win that comes to each one of you is a win for us all. Remember that a loss is always a chance to learn and teach us all so we can be better. This community will never abandon you because no matter how far you go or how silly it sounds, you are a jaguar through and through, forever and then some. Thank you. Hello, my beautiful graduating class of 2020. I have a confession to make. I regret being one of your valedictorians. This time last year, I realized that high school is an insignificant blip in our existence. No one's going to care that I graduated as valedictorian once the speech is over, and I will have nothing more to show for it than sacrifices that I cannot justify. But that's the true beauty of high school. Right now, it seems like the most significant four years of our lives, but 10 years from now, we will have a hard time remembering some of our peers' names and exactly what made high school so miserable. I know this might sound harsh, but consider that high school isn't about building lifelong friendships or establishing memorable moments. High school is about taking your regrets and adversities, reflecting back upon them, and taking your newfound wisdom into your young adulthood life. Change is key to the high school experience, and I sincerely hope that no one is graduating as the same angsty teen from freshman year, because if you are, you have failed at high school and should not be graduating. It would be foolish of me not to acknowledge that all of us had varying experiences throughout high school. Our challenges, our ups and downs, the amounts of time that we cried over an English essay all vary. But we are unified today as SFU Jaguars. For the past four years, we have tolerated the snide remarks from others thrown our way simply from being from the South Side. They thought we wouldn't graduate, but here we are. Today, it doesn't matter the side of town we're from, the color of our skin, our legal status, the language that we speak at home, our sexuality, our gender identity. What matters is that we graduated, 
and no one can take that away from us. We have all proved those naysayers wrong. I have proved those naysayers wrong. Despite having to declare in every single college application that I am an undocumented immigrant and being labeled as an illegal alien, I will be attending Stanford University on a full ride. I, a normal Mexican girl from the South Side, will be attending one of the best universities in the world. Through my hard work and dedication, I have achieved my goals. Through our hard work and dedication, we have achieved all of our goals. But our drive only got us a third of the way to the finish line. The second third was contributed by our teachers. We would be nowhere without teachers like Mrs. Peru, who is one of the most devo devoted and caring teachers out there. We would be nowhere without teachers like Mr. Harris, who through his dry humor and incredible history of lectures has shown us that white is in the enemy. I personally would be nowhere without Mr. Campbell, who for the past three years has been my confidant. Mr. Campbell, during my sophomore year, we got off to a rocky start and I would have never imagined that you would become my biggest, my biggest moral support. You've helped put my stress into perspective and allow me to run to you about anything and everything. And I've always left your, your classroom feeling a little bit more hopeful about the future. And for that, I thank you. And now onto the last but most important third, our family and friends. Friends that we've made over the past year, like Brooke and Clarissa. Friends like Akiwa, who is one of the most ocurrente people that I know, but balances it out with his brain. Friends like Surprise and Izzy and Ricardo and Bobby. Friends who no matter how far life will take you apart, you will always remember fondly. And our family, the people who keep us grounded outside of school. Ama, Apa y Paloma. Durante los últimos 17 años de mi vida, me han enseñado cómo ser buena hermana e hija. Sin el sacrificio de mis padres, no estaría aquí, ya que ellos inmigraron a los Estados Unidos específicamente para darme esta oportunidad de una mejor educación. Siempre me han asegurado que todo va a estar bien en el final. No sería la señorita que soy hoy sin ustedes. Y por eso les agradezco mucho. Now we stand here as a accumulation of hard work and unconditional support, only a few moments away from being Desertview alumni. We are largely minorities, and the struggles that we have faced because of it will only grow exponentially as we grow older. More times than we are told yes, we will be told no. But keep this in mind. All it takes is one yes to change your life. Not many people will believe in you, not here in America. But it is your duty as a Jaguar to say, just give me the odds and watch the rest happen. Defy all expectations. I dare you. Because on the ganas, I'm Maya. Thank you. Good evening, class of 2020. What an extraordinary year this has been. You have been thrust into the history books of our world. This is certainly going to be a year you won't forget. Though your remembrance of this school year may be overshadowed by the sudden change of our daily routine, do not let it overshadow the important memories that you have made this year. Those important moments you experienced as a senior high school student. I remember what it was like watching you experience your first pep assembly with your rightful place in the senior corner. Remember how excited you were? And remember how you snuck in confetti and baby powder into the gym? Remember how you cheered for yourself at the town halls when the admin team would say, class of 2020. Remember how you walked confidently in those hallways, knowing you were there, finally, in your senior year. Remember all the cherished friendships you nurtured and all those teachers and staff you bonded with. This was your year and nothing absolutely nothing can overshadow that. Seniors, even though we ended the year distanced from each other, in our hearts we will always be connected as Desert View Jaguars. You will always share an endless amount of great memories from your time together in high school. 
I'm so very, very proud of you seniors. It's been such a privilege to serve as your principal. As a former graduate of Desert View High School and a proud alumna myself, I welcome you, class of 2020, to the Alumni Jaguar Club. Congratulations. I look forward to seeing all of your accomplishments in the future and best of luck to you always. I'll miss you. And now some words from our superintendent, Mr. Steve Holmes. Hello, students of the graduating class of 2020. It is a great honor that I'm here before you today celebrating this occasion of your graduation. And although this is not ideal, I know that sometime in the future, we'll hold another celebration where we can gather together with your families and celebrate you properly. As I reflect upon this unique set of circumstances that we're under, I can't help but think about our vision statement, which is that every student in the Sunnyside School District will graduate college, career, and community ready. Three years ago, we added the term community ready because we truly believe that that much better represents the students here in our district. We know that you as students care deeply about your community and through these trying times, I have seen many of you step up and give back to the community in ways that I am so proud to be the superintendent of Sunnyside School District. What this COVID-19 crisis has exposed is the great digital divide and the equity issues associated with technology access and internet access across communities. What I can say with great pride is Sunnyside was ahead of the game. With the investments we have made to ensure that every fourth through 12th grade student had a laptop, that really helped position us better to deal with the crisis that we are now facing and hopefully prepares you better for what's to come. Whether you start your next journey in an online environment or not, I can say with great pride that you all are better prepared. The other evening, my wife asked me if I would join her in watching a film on Netflix called Becoming. It was a new series that was premiering based upon a book from our former First Lady, Michelle Obama. I'm not big on docu-series, so I was reluctant in going and joining her to watch it, but I'm glad I did. Uh, early in the film, uh, former First Lady is at a school in Chicago where she is meeting with a, a group of young women who are attending that school. And many of the young women were questioning why they were selected to actually meet with her. One in particular named Elizabeth Cervantes uh, was questioning, why am I here? I am not an AP student. I'm not in student council. I'm only in one club. And she proceeded to tell her that, you know, she's only in one club because she has to go and work. Her father is, is either ill or cannot work as many hours. So she steps up as a family member who's there and it does it. She tells her because she has three little brothers who look up to her. As I thought about her, Elizabeth Cervantes, I thought, you know what? That is our Sunnyside students. That is all of you. That is all of us that are here in the Sunnyside School District doing things that most people think are ordinary, but are actually wonderful and great and what makes our students unique. Michelle Obama goes on and asks, uh, tells a young lady, this is why you're here, it's your story. What seems so ordinary and seems like nothing to you is your power. As we get through this crisis together and we think about who we are as a community, that is the power of the Sunnyside community. And as a graduate now of the Sunnyside community, you should be proud to know that your power lies in what you do every day. Your resiliency, what you bring to the table, those things that just seem ordinary that no one else can take away from you. Growing up in a community like Sunnyside gives you unique experiences that no other student across our nation or even across just our basic city can say they've experienced. Many of you are working jobs, many of you are challenged with things at home, but all of you, all of you are here tonight graduating. 
And it's those things and those experiences that you have here in our community that make you so unique and so powerful. And you cannot forget that. You can now proudfully say that I graduated from the Sunnyside Unified School District. And all those experiences I know just by talking to community members, business leaders, politicians, folks across our country who cross, cross paths with Sunnyside alumni all the time. And what is consistent across those conversations are that our Sunnyside Unified School District graduates are just so amazing and powerful. I want you to leave knowing that the strength that you have is what's going to set you apart now and forever. Because forever you will be a Sunnyside Unified School District graduate and you should be proud. Thank you. Now, with the powers vested in me by the State of Arizona and the Sunnyside Unified School District Governing Board, I certify that these students have met all of the requirements established by the Arizona Board of Education for receiving a high school diploma. I recommend the graduates present here tonight to receive a diploma of graduation with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges granted therein. Board President and Board Members, I present the graduating class of 2020. Rashid Abdi Santos Acevedo Rebecca Altamirano Aníbal Alcibar Jr. Jacob Alvarado Alejandra Alvardo Torres Salía Álvarez Rachel Amavisca Alexa Amaya Daphne Anselmo Keila Aparicio Cristo Aramburu Thais Alondra Armendaris Hailey Armenta Angel Arvallo Brooke Atchison Jorge Badia Cesar Balbasto Karim Valdenegro Janisa Ballesteros Mariana Barnett Perla Barragán William Biri Jovel Bennett the second Amelia Bermudez Kayla Bipich Isabel Portis Christian Barr Isabella Brown Genesis Bueno Sebastian Buerras Savannah 
Nicolas. Julia Burke. Rachel Burriel Barragán. Alejandro Caballero. José Campoy. Robert Kennedy. Alex Caperón. Fabián Carrasco Castillo. Ashley Carrión. Vanessa Carrera. Yanicia Casillas. Joana Casillas. Eric Castro. Benjamin Caudillo. Ramón Cázares. Brenda Celaya. José Manuel Cervantes. Emanuel Chaides Sánchez. Héctor Cheno. Gerald Cordero. Aram Collins. Gustavo Contreras. Gina Cota. Roxel Manuel Cota Jones. Andrea Dagnino. Janelli del Cid Peralta. Yareli del Cid Peralta. Refugio Jesús del Cid. Liliana Delgado. Elisa Azucena Díaz. Manuel Díaz Perry Samantha Díaz Daniela Díaz Morales Seth Michael DeMaio Delicious Donaldson Thomas Isenia Anaceli Dorame. Surprise Dwayi. Kelly Duarte. Bo Dyke. Alyssa Elias. Jorge Alberto Enrique Sarevalo. Citlali Enríquez Medina. Jorge Tadeo Equiwa. Isabela María Espinosa. Ricardo Espinosa. Yanixia Espinosa Andrea Espinosa Bea 
Jacqueline Esquer Arrayales. Ariela Esquivel. Annalise Estrella. Tina Farnsworth. Ricardo Félix. Keila Cassandra Fernández. José Fierros. Melanie Fontes. Diana María Franco. Clarissa Frisbee. Justin Frisky. Marco Alejandro Fuentes. Adrián Josué Moreno Gallego. Rayana Galvez. Joel Jasir Gamboa. Mayrin Fernanda García. Y Celia García. Gabriel Esteban García. Paulino Hernández Garza de Fif. Blessing Gallé. Dylan Gaiselman Shepherd. Alisa Gomez. Marina Monique Gomez. Ashley Gonzalez. Fabián Gonzalez Hernández. José Armando González Hernández. Jesús Gerardo González Martínez. Celicia Canillo. Angelo Graham. Macy Rubina Grant. Dalí Ashley Grijalva Luisa Fernanda Grijalva Pamela Jacqueline Grijalva Vivian Carolina Grijalva Acosta Tristan James Guido Bryant Guillén Adrián Gutiérrez Mónica Gutiérrez Jocelyn Guzmán Emily Hall Daniel Antonio Aro Samantha Hawkins Alexia Hernandez Gloria Hernandez George Hernandez III Victoria Herrán Mackenzie Holderweed Kobe Howard Christopher 
Howard Paulina Hurtado Esteban Infante Sarah Jacob Berlich Fario Mohamed Jama Reina Mia Aurige Alicia Amanda Rose Jimenez Ruben Jimenez Morgan Johnson Adrian Juarez Isaiah K Nico Nero Jimena Lafarga Brian Lagarda Carlos Lara Natalie Lara Cireded Leon de la Cruz Hilda Leiva T. Jane Lee List Francisco Lizarraga Ashley Lopez Damien Lopez Ivan Lopez Jasmine Lopez Jennifer Lopez Marciel López Modesto López Mona Lisa López Neidoli López Verónica López Suset López Gisela López Ávila Giselle López Ávila Patrick López Jr. Alejandra López Muñoz Yolanda López Perea Guadalupe López Villescas Rubén Loya Jr. Ángel Noé Lugo Alex Damian Lujan Itzel Anaid Lujan Lucas Land Christopher Nathaniel Macias Jaslyn Madrid Sanchez Julesi Madrid Urrea Carla Abigail Maldonado Jennifer Belén Maldonado Gastelum Joshua Marcote Marilyn Esmeralda Mariscal 
Pedro Márquez Cadena. Ivan Andrés Martin. Jasmine Beatriz Martín. Gema Martínez Coronado. Karen Azucena Martínez Martínez. Jesús Márquez. Nayeli Martínez Medrán. Gianna Monet Matías. Jennifer Fernanda Matus Borbón. Joshua Allen McIntyre. Aiden Joseph Medina. Alondra Medina Lopez. Isabella Marie Medina. María José Medina. Axel Meléndez. Siana Mendoza. Jessica Michelle Mendoza. Celeste Marie Mesa. Jaden Miguel. Sinaí Miramontes. Jesús Miranda. Miranda Victoria Miranda. Ali Mohamed. Mia Susana Molina. Valeria Monares Iriki. Guillermo Monroy Jr. Yareli Danitza Mora. Luz Andrea Morán. Alisa Mariana Moreno. Martín Moreno. Michael Ruben Moreno. Pedro Moreno. Fernanda Morfín Sandoval. Vicente Murguía. Belén Muro Quijada. Alessandra Ivet Nava. Yesenia Nava Enríquez. Steven Nies. Abriana Nelson. Jenny Wen. Gabriel Núñez. Aivina Alicia Núñez. Joa Mieswa. Mackenzie Renee O'Brien. René Ochoa. Uriel Olivares. María Olvera. Brian Opichka Jr. María Esmeralda 
Jesús Orduño Jolín Orduño Analesia Ortiz Brianna Ortiz Caitlin Ortiz Nesta Owakoki Jade Pablo Alexa Pacheco Alexis Yaret Pacheco Jalen Payanes Atziri Palomares Brianna Michelle Peña Luis Ángel Peña Jesús Pérez Jesús Eleno Pérez Alexa María Pérez de la Rosa Yaselín Pérez Marco Antonio Pride Mason Prieto Alejandro Quijada Julián David Quintana Angel Ramírez Azul Noelia Ramírez Isaac Ramírez Yaretsi Itzel Ramírez Yasmin Ramírez Samantha Ray Rafael Real Viviana Redondo Stephanie Reyes Veronica Reina Fierro Devin Rios Iraíz Rios Gabriel Rivas Clarisa Rivera Josué Rivera Rafael Rivera Jorge Rivero Blanca Robles Pizzi Ideali Lozoya Rizzo Anaí Robles Llano Analia Cristal Rodríguez Anthony Rodríguez Brianna Rodríguez Ike Rodríguez Luis Joan Rodríguez Marisol Rodríguez Daniel Rodríguez Lozoya Nailia Rodríguez Sabrina Romero
Samantha Michelle Romero Guerrero. Kiriat Yarim Rosas. Omar Rosas Jr. Michelle Payat Rubaiza. Julio Antonio Rubio. Clarissa Leanne Ruiz. Viviana Tenea Ruiz. Axel Sainz Quirino. Jaciel Sainz Quirino. Joaquín Salazar Gagiola. Selena Sánchez. Jessica Sánchez Barrios. Daisy Jasmine Sánchez Mancilla. Josué Sandoval Monreal Jr. Miranda Santa Cruz. Samantha Santa María. Gabriel Santillano. Lowell Schimek. Asia Septo. Jasmine Esmeralda Serrano. Cecilia Ibeliz Silva Sabori. Axel Sonoki Higuera. Alexis Soto. Sofía Soto. Samaya Jesed Stolman. Rusty Lee Steele the third. Fernanda Nicole Talamantes Corrales. Seth Tapia. Jariah Taylor. Rachel Kayla Taylor. Christopher Wesley Toco. April Cecilia Edviges Torres. Esmeralda Torres Lugo. Kayla Mariana Tobar. Roxana Trujillo Garcia. Alisa Juliana Teslakai. Alia Tiana Tucker. Jose Maria Uvense. Rigoberto Valdez Jr. Isabella Serena Valenzuela. Angeli Valenzuela Acuna. Haley Ben Golder. Jeffrey Vasquez Salazar. Valeria Vega Janes. David Velarde. Danisa Villalobos. Adriana Vindiola. Serena Vilvaldo. Devin Warren. 
Savannah Whiting Luis Armando Wilson Bermúdez René Arturo Irigoyen Jessica Zarate Moreno Graduating students not pictured Jose Maria Arbayo Manuel Avila Anakia Earls Isnino Inau Jocelyn Juarez Taeg Miguel Jimena Rodriguez Rios Desert View High School, Class of 2020, it brings me great honor to ask you all to please join me in the moving of the tassel from right to left. Congratulations, Desert View Jaguars, you did it. <laughs> 